Uh, how do you pronounce that? Balut. Balut. Okay. Well, that's yep. a good thing I ask you because I'd screw that up. Everybody does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, do you have a few minutes to speak with us? Absolutely. Okay. Your call's being recorded, you know that. Yes, sir. Okay. We're here to ask you about the horse of Doug O'Neill's. Is it Hot Rod Charlie? Yes. Okay. Can you tell us, a, just just walk us through what you did with him last the last time you shot him, please? Okay. I arrived in Lexington in Keeneland on September the 30th. Prior to my arrival, I keep detailed notes of the horse's shoe size, any issues pertaining to feet. And so when I arrived, I had his shoes completely prepped with um, the shoes he normally wears. I used a size six Kirkhart Tradition XT, but the toe grab was grounded to flush and a size five XT hind with a toe clip. Oh, with, yeah, with a toe clip. Okay. Do you, do you, hey, Doug. Are there any issues with that horse's feet or anything? Um, he had a little uh, something going on with his heels in, in the bulbs, a little irritation. He was barefoot, so um, that's why they, just, they uh, Doug and uh, the team decided to fly me out. Um, I know the, his, the, the horse well, so they decided to fly me out to... Uh, to uh, see what I can do to help him out. Okay. Hey, hey, Doug. Can I can I interject for one second? You just, Dean. I'm sorry. Pardon me. You just yeah. said that you arrived at Keeneland on September 30th. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So this is the day before the horse ran. I'm I'm sorry. You mean August 30th? You, August 30th. Yes. Yeah. Because you shod the horse on the first of September, according to your invoice. Um, he was actually shot on the 30th. The invoice was already closed, so I had to bill forward to the month. Okay, okay. So August 30th, not September. Okay. Very yes, ma'am. Thank you. And then you can continue. I just wanted to clear that up. So do, is that a, a, a standard shoe that you use on him, or was that something different? No, that is a, that's a standard shoe that I use on all my horses, yes. Okay, and you... you you grind the. You said you grind the toes off. I do grind all the uh, the front shoes. They gr they are all ground to flesh. Okay. And you're aware of all the the Heisa shoe rules. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Well. So there was no no issues with that horse. With the, I mean, his his feet or anything. Did you had to do anything special other than uh, you said nothing the special? Is it standard chewing? Just getting shoes back on him um, because he was barefoot. I noticed he has white feet. I didn't know if that was anything. No. I've got a question for you. I I feel certain yeah. that you have seen the photograph that is um, controversial of the yes. horse's uh, left foot in the race. Can you, do you see the photo and can you make some kind of determination about what that visual is and why it looks the way it does? The isolated photo with the circle um, that, that is pulled off the isolation with the red circle, um, that, that foot and the way that appears to look like a toe grab uh i can't i can't comment on that it, it just seems like a bad angle some sh sort of shadow the picture below it where they have the foot from the front view if you take a look at the foot or the shoe itself you'll see a almost an upside down smile sh shading shape his shoes were so worn because there were 30 days and he paused a little bit, they were so, so worn that he possibly could have um, worn all the way back so that uh, the toe grab could have been 
the, the toe that's inserted inside um, could have been showing, but um, but the shoe was regulation. There was no traction device, no toe grab below the shoe. Okay, so so the front of the shoe is worn off, exposing. What would you consider that? Like a since you grind it down to the to the um, to the shoe. Would you consider that like a wear plate, or what would you what would you call that? Um, no. The, well, what happens with with the toe grabs? They're they're inlaid inside of the shoe, so that they they don't come out, and they probably go down. The shoe thickness is roughly about, I would say, three eighths of an inch or so, right. and that that the toe grab itself is inlaid about halfway into the toe, and so. Um, if it wears down, the aluminum wears down, you know, you can actually end up seeing a little bit of the toe grab itself, which is a tungsten steel. Um, you can uh, see a little bit of it in the front, but, um, you know, as far as a toe grab and a traction device, the, the shoe was ground flat from the bottom. Okay, so, the, so what's visible from the front angle is due to the to the shoe being worn away, the aluminum part of the shoe being worn away in front. That, I'm not trying to put words in your mouth. I'm just asking. Yeah, that's my only explanation for w the way that shoe looks or the way that picture looks. Uh, as far as anything protruding, a grab, a toe grab in the toe grab category, there was nothing at all whatsoever. Okay. All right. And we've examined the shoe on the horse's foot since then, and that makes sense. All right. Anybody have anything else? I, no, I don't. Well, sir, thank you for your time. Hey, um, Dean. Well, thank you. I, I do actually have a couple questions for you folks. Okay. Sure. Um, I am supposed to, I'm going to be out on Monday, and I was told, uh, Doug just texted me that I'm, I was told to take Charlie's shoes off and give them to you for just to hold on for any We're, anything other any other situation that might occur after this. There there will be someone that will contact you and you can tell them when you're going to work on this horse and they will be there to take possession of the shoes. Perfect. You just go ahead and do what you're normally going to do. And when they contact you, you just say, well, okay, it'll be 10 or 1030, and there'll be someone there to take possession of them. Excellent. So and, I, I, should wait. I should wait for the person to arrive so that I can physically take the shoes off and then hand them to them? Correct. They can witness you taking the shoes off. They're going to actually put them, like, in, an evidence, in evidence bags, and everybody's going to sign it. And so we'll have, a, you know, like a chain of custody for those shoes. Perfect. Okay. But they, they will contact you. You said about what time Monday morning do you think you'll get started? Um, well, I've got, I get in on Monday morning, and I'm supposed to go and get a, a Kentucky steward's license because I'm only licensed here in California just to make every make sure all the... I don't know if he's here My bases Monday. are covered. I don't think he and is. Then, and then I'll probably be Monday. doing him sometime in the afternoon. Okay. Okay. We'll Can we get back in touch with you or can uh Can I give you a cell phone number? I'm giving this. Absolutely. Give me one second. And then we'll we'll get it all arranged and we've got to figure out about your license too cuz they're not open unless you go to the horse park on Monday. Uh horse park is in um It's in Lexington. It's about 10 it's minutes from Keeneland. Okay. That might be where you have to go. I'll find out if the if the actual license office at Keeneland's open on Monday. I don't think so. Okay. But we'll find. Have I you ever been? To, have you, I am flying into Louisville. I'm in Louisville. Uh, get a, a good flight as far as for uh, my uh, time. Are you you're so, flying into uh, Louisville and renting a car? Yeah. Is the, there is a license office open at Churchill. I'm sure they'll be open on Monday. That's, that's what I was expecting. Okay. Okay. I'm okay, going to... perfect. Okay. All right. Let me... I'll verify that. If, <clears throat> if that's not the case, I'll let you know. But can I give you my cell number? Absolutely. And then you'll go. give me a firm idea about what time you're going to be at Keeneland. 
And my so my numbers. Yes. Well, and I'm sorry, your name is? It's Barbara Borden. 